Here's another difficult sentence from the difficult chapter 16 of the famous Lingua Latina by Hans Orberg. Question number four asks, Quando naves e porto egredionter? Quando naves e porto egredionter? A lot of my students get this one wrong. So first of all, let's find out what is Mr. Orberg asking us. Quando is an adverb. It means when. Naves means ship, or ships actually. It's plural. So, when do the ships, e gradiunter, that looks like a passive verb. It's actually not. It is the verb, but it's an active verb, but it really looks like a passive verb. So, why am I saying it's an active verb? It's something called a deponent verb. And you'll learn about these in chapter 16. Deponent verbs are verbs that look like they're passive, but they aren't. They're actually active. And then, last of all, when do the ships sail, e portu, what does e portu mean? E porto just means out of port. When do the ships leave port is what it's asking. And the answer that Mr. Orberg is looking for is the ships sail from port when they have suitable wind. So, ships, subject of the sentence, nominative case. What are the ships doing? They're sailing, verb. They're sailing from, preposition, from where? Port, object of the preposition. And then we have this, let's switch colors. Then we have this whole different phrase down here. They sail from port when they have suitable wind. When is an adverb. And then we have another subject down here. They, subject of the sentence, nominative case, actually a subject pronoun. They have, verb, what do they have? They have wind, direct object. That ends our clause. What kind of wind do they have? They have suitable wind. That's an adjective describing when. So basically what we have is two sentences going on here. And uh, we have uh, the ships sail from port when they have suitable wind. That's how we're going to diagram it. So let's diagram this and then we'll translate it and then we'll be done. The ships sail from port when they have suitable wind. We always start with a straight line and divide it. So we have ships sail from port. There's our prepositional phrase there. Ships sail from port. And we'll add the article adjective. The ships sail from port. And then we're going to treat this clause, this adverbial clause, as its own sentence. They have, what do they have? They have this direct object here. They have wind. Direct object goes on the main line always after a half stick. They have suitable wind. They have suitable wind. So how do we connect them? Well, we just connect the verbs, actually. And we put when on the line. The ships sail from port when they have suitable wind. Okay, let's translate this into Latin. So, it's a little tricky in Latin because we're not going to say the ships sail from port when they have suitable wind. We're going to use something called the ablative absolute. Let's go back over here. Uh, this phrase right here, when they have a suitable wind, uh, we can translate this with two words in Latin so long as both of them are in the ablative. And that's called an ablative absolute. And we're actually going to start with that. So, vinto, notice it's in the ablative, secundo, Looks like second wind, and it could be translated that way, but vinto secundo, with a second win. I'm no big fan of macrons, but I just put those up there for the macron lovers so that they'll know that's in the ablative. Vinto secundo, with, with a second win. Whenever you have an ablative absolute like this, you can just throw in the preposition that you need. So when they have a suitable uh, win, or uh, win, with a suitable win, vinto secundo, what happens when these guys, these ships, have got their suitable wind? Well, then the ships sail out of port. So then you would put naves, just like what we had up here in our question, and we'll put e portu, just like what we had up here in our question. Naves e portu. So we have now, with a suitable wind, or with a second wind, the ships from the port, what do they do? We just bring the verb down. The ships sail from the port. I don't know if I left myself enough room. I'll try. Egredi un tur. There we go. 
with a second wind, the ships sail out of port, Vinto, Vinto Secundo, Navis e Porto Egredionter. Vinto Secundo, Navis e Porto Egredionter. All right, be sure to check out my website, DwayneThomas.com. Subscribe to my channel while you're here. Uh, read my book if you'd like to about my journey learning Latin. And actually, if you click on this tab up here to read my book, then you'll actually end up on my website anyway. 